Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that time where I share all of my monthly favorites. I can't believe August is over, but I had so much that I loved in August, so I have a lot to share in this video. I know I always say that I try to keep it short, but I usually just kind of ramble on about the stuff that I share in these videos. But seriously, I'll try to keep it short because I have a lot to share and I have some good stuff to share, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, numero uno, and I think it's probably a favorite for a lot of YouTubers this month. So I'm just going to get it out of the way first because you'll probably see it in every single video, everyone's monthly favorite, but it's definitely my favorite for this month. So that is the Stardust palette. This palette is awesome. Like, I was so excited when I saw that it was going to come out and it was made by Vegas Nay because she usually just posts like the most amazing pictures of different artists out there. So she has really good taste when it comes to artistry and she's an amazing artist herself. So I was super excited that I got this palette from Too Faced and I actually did a video using this palette. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Um, I used some color. I used the purple tones that are in here to try to switch it up for you guys. But just the pigmentation of these shadows are amazing and I don't know, just Too Faced always like hits a home run with packaging. I feel like they have the best packaging out there. It's so cute. Just the presentation is amazing. So um, they definitely get a thumbs up for me when it comes to packaging. I love it. I haven't used all the colors yet in this palette, but I plan on doing a look with a lot of the brown tones more for fall, so that will be coming up. I'll probably film it in a few days. Um, if there's any more requests you want me to do with this palette, let me know because I totally love it and I'll probably be using it a lot, so I love that palette. Okay, moving on. Um, Bare Minerals came out with a new concealer, which I shared with you guys in my top favorite concealer products and I'll list the video down below if you want to check it out but they came out with a bare skin concealer and I've been using it for like a month and a half now and I really really like it I think it's amazing and so many people are gonna love it um you guys know I work for bare minerals and we've been selling it like crazy so it's some good stuff I promise. Um, I use the color medium golden. That's what I'm wearing underneath my eye area right now. And I usually just set it with a setting powder, which I'll share later in this video. But this concealer is so creamy and it just gives a luminous glow underneath the eye area. And it's just a nice consistency that works with all age ranges. So from like a younger gal all the way to our older mature woman. Um, I think it's just perfect about how it lays like underneath the eyes. I love it. I'm not going to say too much about that concealer because I am doing a whole separate video, um, kind of a review and a tutorial on those concealers because I want to share more information about them. You guys are totally going to love them, so stay tuned for that video. I'll probably film in a couple days. Okay, let's talk about the Buxom eyeshadows and how amazing they are. I was so excited when I saw that Buxom was coming out with single eyeshadows and that you can actually build your own palette. I think that's genius and amazing and it should have happened a long time ago. And I'm hoping Bare Minerals will kind of do the same thing, but I don't know. I'm just crossing my fingers. Buxom eyeshadows that came out, they are so pigmented and creamy and the color range is amazing. I love them. Um, Buxom sent me a couple of their palettes and I totally fell in love. So I went to Sephora and actually built my own palette, which I have right here. And I am planning a couple looks that I'm going to do with this palette. Let me show you. Oops, the brush fell out. So this is the palette that I created. I wanted to get kind of like the bright colors that I've been eyeing and then also this like red brown that's just amazing and then kind of a base color. So I'm going to create kind of like a fun look with this palette, but the shadows are so buttery and creamy and so pigmented, like crazy pigmented. Um, they're shimmery ones. They don't have a lot of fallout. They don't have like that chunky glitter that just falls on your eyes. Um, their glitter just and satin finish eyeshadows just lay so nicely on the eye area. And then also the mattes are super pigmented. They're not chalky. They blend really, really well. I 
love these shadows so you should definitely go out and make your own palette because one it's fun and two their shadows are just awesome I went to the makeup show in San Francisco last weekend and it was kind of a smaller makeup show compared to the other ones that I went to but there are some cool brands that I haven't heard of before um, one brand I actually knew about already on Instagram but they were there and I had no idea they were gonna be there but that's the brand that makes lashes in a box. So I've seen these lashes on the internet and I thought they're cool, but I didn't know if they're going to be like kind of cheaply made or just like, I don't know, just kind of funky plasticky lashes. But I was able to check them out at the show and I actually really liked them. And I was pretty surprised how great the quality was. The band is so flexible and thin, um, you can hardly see it on your eye area, and they just held up really well. So I got myself my first lashes in a box. The style that I got was um, number four, and they're just kind of that fluffy, like, I don't know, fluffy, feathery lashes and I love when the lashes are longer in like the center so it makes your eyes look a little bit more rounded so I got these wore a pair already they're perfect for like your everyday lash and there's quite a few styles available and the packaging is really nice too especially for makeup artists who use lashes a lot these are great to take with you and also just kind of the kind of woman that wears lashes all the time like me so it's great to have like tons and tons of backups so you get 20 it's like a 20 piece eyelash set um, so you get 10 pairs basically and they're awesome totally recommend them another brand that was there that I saw on Instagram but haven't seen them in person is glow girl I don't know if you guys have heard of glow girl but it's a Bay Area based brand and I live in the Bay Area in California and all I'm, I'm all about supporting Bay Area brands. So she was there, she has a whole line of lipsticks. She's super sweet and genuine and nice and her booth was just very welcoming. So I went over there and she had tons of lipsticks. What got me and what sold me was first, like she was just awesome, just a really sweet woman, but the names of the lipsticks were hilarious and unique and funny and I love them. So speaking of funny, unique names, um, I got one lipstick just to kind of test out. I end up, ended up loving it. And let me get this out. So this is the packaging. It's just kind of a sleek gold packaging. But this is the color and it's a gorgeous nude and it's kind of like a yellow base nude, which I need because I think the ones that have too much pink just looks funky on me and I don't like it. So I was really excited when they had this nude there and the name of it, wait for it, wait for it, it's called Camel Toe. Like seriously, it's called Camel Toe. And I think that's so funny, but it's just like, when you look at it, it makes sense. It just looks like a perfect name for this nude color but this lipstick is gorgeous it looks great on I'll probably be doing some looks I actually did post a look with this color but I kind of want to take a better picture so you can get a really good look of this color I'll probably show a swatch in this video but I love their lipsticks and she has some really cute names for her lipsticks and they just feel really creamy and nice on the skin so you should definitely check them out Okay, this isn't really makeup related, it's more health related. I have been trying to slim down and take control of my body and just get healthier basically. So I'm really into teas. I have tried um, a detox tea before called Boo Tea. Um, you guys might have seen me post a couple stuff about them like I think it was like a couple years ago it's been a while so I haven't had a detox tea in a while but um, flat tummy tea actually um, asked me to try their tea and I have been drinking it for a while and I really like it I think I like it oops there goes my phone I think I like it more than booty because I think I like the taste of it it just tastes like a genuine good basic green tea I guess if you like green tea you'll like it um, so there's two different teas. There is this one, which is the morning tea, and this helps with energy, boosts metabolism, 
boost metabolism and reduces bloating which is definitely a problem for me so I've been drinking this and definitely gives me energy and I just feel good after drinking it um, this is the night one so this is the cleanse so this is a little bit more intense which you do kind of like every other day I think and um, it stimulates digestion and again reduces bloating I will probably do a separate video um, once I have drank these teas consistently and tell you a little bit more information about it but until then I do have a coupon code down below for the flat tummy tea um, if you like green tea you want more energy you want to reduce bloating you should try it um, tastes really good and so far I've been really enjoying it I have been wearing makeup for a really long time now and I usually hated setting powders just because I couldn't find one that I liked and especially I needed a setting powder for underneath my eye area because I feel like by the end of the day my dark circles just pop out and I feel like all my concealer just kind of like smudges up and cakes underneath my eye area which I hate so I have been seeing a lot of youtubers and artists using this setting powder and I wish I discovered it a long time ago because it's awesome and I've been using it so much everyone's been talking about the whole baking method and I tried it but I haven't been really using it to bake I've just been using it to press underneath my eye area just to set my concealer. So the setting powder I'm talking about is the Laura Mercier setting powder and it's just the loose setting powder. It's, trans it's the, just the translucent one so I guess it's just the basic translucent setting powder. I have been using this so much lately and I love it. I think it's just so finely milled. It just blends everything underneath the eye area. I us usually use um, like a damp beauty blender and it just sets everything perfectly. So I love this stuff. It's bomb.com. Like seriously. You guys all know that I entered the Pacifica contest to be the next Pacifica Muse for 2016. And actually the last day to vote for me is tomorrow, which is Saturday. So you have until the end of Saturday night to vote for me. Crossing fingers. I don't know how it's going to go. I feel like every single video is amazing and every single person in that video is amazing. So I think it's anyone's game at this point. But I'm really hoping that I win because it's just an amazing opportunity. And I don't know. It was just a really fun contest. And I've gotten so much support from everyone who's been watching it. So you want to support me you can vote for me I'll list everything down below I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video it might be too late but anyway if you want to check out my video I'll post it down below but since I entered that contest I've actually been using a lot of Pacifica products and there's a few that I just wanted to share in this video that I really like um, this one is I think it's new on their website this is the coconut crushed pearl bronzing body butter it gives like that sun kiss glow I have been using this like on my arms and my decollete and my legs just to give me kind of that glow and look a little bit more hydrated. But I think what I loved about it the most was the smell. And I have gotten so many compliments every time I wear this lotion how like yummy I smell. Everyone says, Errol, you smell like a cookie today. And um, I'll take that. I'll smell like a cookie. So it smells super sweet and like smells like vanilla so if you like that scent you'll probably like this and I think I like it so much because the scent actually stays it doesn't feel like it fades away um, or you can't smell it after a while it actually you could smell it throughout the day so I know I'm like smelling good you know so I really like this and um, if you want something yummy and you want to smell like a cookie buy that Next is a moisturizer. So I ran out of my other moisturizer and I figured I would test this one out. This is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. And it smells like a spa on your face. It smells really good. And I don't know. I'm just trying out a new one and I've been using this one this month and I really like it. If you want something that smells really earthy and relaxing and calming, try that moisturizer. Next is, I don't know, I'm in a like vanilla kick right now. So I actually ordered this candle. It's the Pacifica Island Vanilla Candle. It's a soy candle. And it smells so good. It just smells like a mixture of fruity and vanilla. So I like the kind of the happy medium between those two. It smells really good. 
I like it. So I've been lighting that so my house smells really good and yummy. And that's everything for the Pacifica products. Let's talk about something that's not beauty related or health related. Let's just take a minute to talk about this. I was introduced to freaking cookie butter. Have you guys had cookie butter? Because I was just introduced to it and I really regret being introduced to it because I'm obsessed. This is cookie butter and it, it's probably so bad for you but it tastes so good. It tastes like creamy snickerdoodles in a jar. That's literally what it tastes like. And I think I would have been way better off if I never knew about this stuff and how it tastes. But my coworker got it for me because she was shocked when she found out I've never tried cookie butter. And I finally tried it and now I'm hooked. So I've been leaving this just away from me so I don't eat it because I'm trying to eat healthy. But I can't help myself. Sometimes I just want a spoonful of this. It tastes so good. Like if you like snickerdoodles, you'll love this stuff. But I'm warning you, if you're gonna try it, you're gonna love it and then you want more and more and more. So be careful if you're gonna try this. But if you have tried it, I know there's other flavors. You can tell me what other flavors to try because I know I'll probably want to, even though I know it's bad for me. But I just had to share cookie butter in my favorites video. Next is a highlighter that I have been obsessing over and I've literally been using it like all over my face. If I could smother my body in it, I would. So this is from Laura Geller and this is her Baked Highlighter Duo in French Vanilla and Portofino. And this highlighter is gorgeous. One side is more like a satin finish, which I like to use on my eyes um, in the center of my lid for like kind of a shimmery pop. And then also underneath my brow bone for a highlight. And then I love smothering my face in this one because it's so pretty. That's what I wear pretty much every single day on my cheekbones. I don't know if you can see the glow, but it is so pretty. I love it. And I wish they had more colors because I love it so much. So if you're looking for a new baked highlighter, this one is the best one right now. And I love it. A couple more things and then I'm done. So Coco Lashes came out with a couple new styles of lashes and um, I got them from LadyMoss.com. Um, a couple of my favorite pairs. This one is the Marilyn and it's just a fun kind of full wispy um, set of lashes. I have not tried them on yet but I do love the style and I think they're gorgeous and I'm kind of waiting for the right makeup look to wear these, but I absolutely love them. Another pair is the Queen Bee Lashes, and those are super long, like extra long. I don't have a pair on me right now. I'll probably find an old clip just to show you what they look like, and maybe a little clip of me putting them on so you can really see what they look like. But the lashes are extra long. Like if I open my eyes, they touch my brows. So if you don't like them that long, you might not be kind of the set for you, but I love them. They're fun, they're flirty, they're long, and they're wispy. Kind of everything I love in one pair of lashes. So those have been a pair of lashes that I've been loving. And the last thing that I want to share in this video is from my last month Boxy charm, and it's the I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. That's literally the name of it. So I've been using this after I um, wash my hair when it's damp. I'll spray some of this in there. I've been trying to really protect and take care of my hair since I went lighter, and I do plan on actually going like a tad bit lighter and a little bit ashier, like just a tiny bit. So I've been trying to prep my hair before I use any heat products. So I've been using this stuff. I love it. And it does a little bit of everything. So let me see if I can get this all out, this list. So it repairs damaged hair, instantly adds shine, detangles like no other, protects from heat, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates amazing silkiness, enhances natural body, and helps with flat irons. So it does a little bit of everything and it's been making my hair look a lot smoother and shinier and I don't know, I really like this spray. And it's by George, I think. I think that's what it says on there. Um, but yeah, 
this is what came in my box. It's a pretty big size, so that's kind of been my go-to spray lately. Okay, this video was already way too long, so I apologize, but I had a lot to share in this video because there are so many cool things that I tried last month and I've been loving, so I wanted to share with you guys all this stuff in this video. Um, anyway, let me know what your favorites was for August and um, September is going to be kind of like a chill month. I feel like I can actually like relax and there's so many videos that I need to do, especially for fall. Like I'm all about fall and that's like my favorite time to film videos. And Halloween's coming up, which is crazy. So you guys need to tell me what I should film for Halloween because I have no idea yet. And I need to get those videos started at least by like the last week of this month. We'll see. Crossing fingers. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching my favorites. And I will see you guys in the next video.